G'day guys, how we doing? Zach and Lucy here. Welcome to Lucy's channel, Lucy Lane, the Queen of Belmain. Uh, so <laughs> can you check this girl out? Isn't this crazy? You're just a happy girl. So today guys, we are going to do a Q&A. So this has been asked quite a multiple of times um, across all of our social media platforms. So I put a post on TikTok yesterday, you guys responded, which is fantastic. Um, so here we go. We've got hundreds and hundreds of questions here, so I'm just gonna pick some random ones. Louis, you need a comfy? Good girl, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss on the tree. So, here we've got hundreds and hundreds of questions through, so I'm gonna go through, give a shout out to who gave the question. Um, give the question and answer it as best I can, guys. Okay, from Ace underscore Rex. My question is, is Lucy an active or a chilled dog? So, a bit of both. Lucy is very active, you've probably seen in her videos. She, um, once she's outside, she goes bananas. We do lots of training, lots of um, photo shoots, and she loves chasing birds, playing with dogs, she's very active. But she's also very obedient, which makes that job of having an active dog quite easy. Um, but also, once we come home, She's very good at adapting to her situation. German Shepherds are known for this. Um, if you leave them inside to their own devices, they're pretty chilled out. As you can see, Luce is now, she will eventually, in a few minutes, she'll end up curling up in here just going to sleep, um, which is cool. So, she's very chilled at home, but she's super active outside, so a bit of both. From Ryan has no logic. Um, how, you, how are you not a model yet? We're kind of working on it. Um, Lucy has this crazy vibe with the camera. She loves posing, she loves photo shoots. Um, it's a bit of a, just a bit of a fun hobby for us, but she does get sent free gear and uh, in exchange for photo shoots and some stuff like that. So look, I suppose she kind of, is she, is she kind of a model? I don't know. You're going to sleep, baby. See? Chilled. Um, next question, guys. Art with a twist is, why did you decide to start TikTok? I'm glad you joined. Well, thank you very much for that. Um, why do we decide to start TikTok? So, Lucy was on Instagram. She's got a great little following on there. I think she, um, ooh, she's got about 26,000 followers on there. Um, I started that because just before I got Lucy, a guy came to me while well, I met a guy in the park and he said, Look, my, um, I said I was getting a new German Shepherd puppy next week. I was all excited. And it turns out his German Shepherd just died. So, he said to me, the one, regret he, the one regret he has is he never took enough photos. And I was like, wow, light bulb moment. Okay, thank you for that. Picked up Lucy, and then I sort of made a vow to myself to start taking some nice photos, and I'm gonna take a photo of her every day, and I'm gonna pop it on Instagram to kind of keep me accountable. And it just sort of blew from there. Blew up from there. I got better at photos, Lucy got better at posing, and then we just went from there. Um, I don't even know if you can see her in the camera yet, um, she, but she's still here, she's just laying. So, then, I don't know, fast track a year, fast forward a year, and then this new app came along. I saw a few like shares on the Instagram. I was like, what is this TikTok, top Tic Tac, or whatever the hell it was. And um, yeah, so then, look, I, I, I downloaded the app, Googled it, downloaded it, and then put a few videos on and went, yuck, this is not for me. I have no idea what I'm doing. And then I went back to it and started posting a few more little videos. I thought it was quite fun, these 15 second videos actually. Once I kind of digested what I was doing and then, yeah, essentially Lucy blew up and then we had so much fun on the platform and then I actually grew to really love the platform. Um, it's so much more interactive, you know, a picture can only sort of do much, so much. Obviously you've got Instagram stories and things, but just with the, the way that TikTok, the fast content, you can impact so many people. Um, and look, Lucy is just, I kind of, we do it because it, it honestly puts smiles on faces. So look, as long as people get a kick out of what we're doing and they enjoy the content, we'll keep doing it. Um, we get lots of beautiful messages all the time from people saying, look, I've had a really shitty day, but thanks to your awesome video or photo or whatever, like you just brighten the day up. And that is just, that's what makes it worth it. So that's kind of the long answer to that. Okay, this is from Yeet Pete Six. Sorry if I butchered your name. Um, 
I love your dog, she is the best. Thank you very much. How long did it take you to train her? So we started training Lucy from nine or 10 weeks old when we, when we got her, this is uh, nearly two years ago, she's nearly two, but we got her, we started her on a pretty strict training program um, from day dot, just because this is my first dog. I know German Shepherds are a bit of a, they're a high caliber dog. They are not for most first time owners. You know, they require a lot of work. And I've just so happened to be um, good friends. One of my friends is a, an army dog trainer. And he's got this great business outside. And called up, shout out, there's a bike, Master of Puppies. And he essentially, I hired him to help me with Lucy. And we learned all the basics and um, things like that, which is what you need to do. Hey, darling. And then, yeah, we slightly did some more advanced training, and then it's just repetition over time, and I had good guidance uh, from my friend, from Master and Puppy. So, essentially, but the training doesn't stop. So we started training at a young age, pretty much as soon as he got her, and we, we, we just did some training 50 minutes ago um, out of the park. We did some, you know, some come, some heel, sit, stays, just some basic stuff. Did some basic fetch, did some posing, did some dance, you know, just all these basic commands, but it's about keeping it fresh and yeah, so how long has it taken to train her? It's taken nearly two years because you kind of don't stop. This is from Maddie Vins. How old were you when you did your first photo shoot? By the way, I love your videos. Thank you so much, Maddie. So I started taking photos of Lucy from the day I got her, and I'm gonna throw a photo on the screen here. Check it out. This is the, the afternoon that I popped her in the backyard and I was like, welcome home. And she was looking at me like, where the hell am I? And where's my mum? And what a cute puppy she was. All right, next one, next one, next one. This is from a weird username, MA1D2I9. I don't know, is it something? Uh, What's your favorite beach? Plus, I love you, you are so, 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 so cute. Can you give me a shout out in the Q&A? Well, there you go, there's your shout out. Um, favorite beach, so Lucy loves all beaches. She's a massive swimmer. She loves jumping off rocks and high platforms into water. Uh, we did a whole bunch of dog diving training, but that's a, a, a different thing. Um, but beach, she loves the Cronulla Beach, dog beach down there, um, she loves the Maroubra Beach, there's a little rock face just up from that. We go down there, there's never anyone there, it's really cool. Um, we actually just did a video on that, um, dude, the other day, like, um, yeah, literally it's like the last video I posted, check it out. So, Lucy loves all beaches. Matter of fact, Lucy loves water in general. She is a water pup. Next question. How far did you travel all over the world, kilometers? Um, so we've done a little bit of traveling with Luz. We're gonna start doing more. Um, we're gonna, I actually want to eventually do a road trip around New Zealand with Lucy. That is in the pipelines, we're gonna plan that. So if you're in New Zealand, let us know. Um, we can do meet and greets and things like that. Um, Lucy's done a lot of inter, interstate travel with this, a lot of driving, um, you know, we, we're all geared up for that. It's just about, obviously, introducing your dog to the car and, and getting comfy, darling. Oh, good girl. Introducing your dog to the car and having the right equipment in there, making sure you do regular stops and your, you know, wee wee brakes and things like that. Um, a pretty crazy thing with Luce, so we did a bit of travelling through when we had all the massive bushfires in Australia, um, which is still sun burning, but a lot of the half, I don't know, over half of them are out now, but over the Christmas period, we actually drove through multiple fires to get out away from other fires and the only way it was kind of out and through the fires. Um, the roads weren't impacted at that time, thank God, but it was still quite a quite a hairy experience. So we didn't end up stopping for six hours. We just drove straight, we just non-stop because I felt like every minute you were on the go and you're on the clock. You, know, you don't want to get caught on these bush roads, <coughs> excuse me, uh, when there's fires lurking around. So that was six hours straight with Luz. She didn't even make it. <coughs> excuse me, dust my throat. She didn't even pipe a sound. She just sat there, she poked her head up every hour. She said, hey dad, I'm here. Gave me a lift on the back of the neck and lay back down and went back to sleep. So she's she's a fantastic dog to be traveling with. Um, yeah, but I think 
start with some you know closer traveling adventures like maybe an hour or two away then you can gradually increase with them but with these guys man they're very adaptable to any situation just just start small and work your way out bigger uh, next thing this is from Savannah 2105 um, uh, how old is she you are nearly two years old we're gonna throw a birthday party drop us a comment below if you want to come open invite how did you know you were going to be a model and when did you start modeling? Uh, so, Lucy pretty much started modeling from day one. So, as I said, our first photo was taken in the backyard straight away and we just kicked it off from there. So, yeah, day one and after about a week I went, holy shit, she's really good at this. And she just grew this love for the camera. Bit of a side note, but if Lucy sees a camera in the street or like tourists or something, she'll actually run up to them and like start popping poses. She's just conditioned to see the camera and she just knows what to do. Hello, it's me, Victoria. Hey, Victoria. Um, is it hard taking care of Lucy on a daily basis? Absolutely not. Like, absolutely not. So, we put a lot of work into Lucy at the start. I know puppy phase was hard-ish. Like, we're prepared for it, but there's a lot you've got to consider um, with a little puppy. It's kind of like having a little baby. Not that I don't know what that's like either, but I kind of feel like it's quite similar. But now, you know, that just took time and you just get better as you go and you learn as you go. Um, but Lucy on a daily basis now is just, she's a non-issue. She's such a good girl, as I said. You know, she's active outside. She's relaxed inside. She just loves hanging out. Like, you know, she's just sitting on this chair. She sits up, she give me a kiss, she lay back down, she's so relaxed. Um, say if it rains for three days straight, look, she, and you know, it's monsoonal weather or something, we can't go outside. She would just sleep for like three days and come and have a cuddle and like, you know, she's just really good. So, Lucy on a daily basis is not, it's not even a chore or anything, I don't look at it like that. Even taking her for walks and, you know, just, I love my dog and, you know, it's part of having a dog is, is care and maintenance and things, but it's not a chore at all. Um, yeah. So, that answers that. Okay, from da underscore its underscore Sealy. What's your favourite picture? Have a squeeze. My favorite picture of Lucy. Let's have a look. I reckon my favorite picture of Lucy is probably this action shot. Now I'm gonna see if that's gonna focus. That action shot right there. I took that with Lucy jumping. You see, that's water. That's like the beach. She loves it. Fearless. Fearless pump. That's my favorite picture. Let's have a look here. Does Lucy have a brother or sister? That's from Diana underscore sweet. Um, Lucy had, gee whiz, I think it was about five or six pups. I think there was two boys and four girls, I think off the top of my head. Um, yeah, so she does have brothers and sisters and she's got a couple of half brothers and sisters. We actually caught up with a family that has the a half sister to Lucy, same dad, different mum, and then a half brother. Um, they are just stunning, stunning, stunning dogs. So the breeder that we saw, his his dogs are some of the best in Australia. Um, yeah, he, he just he was put on earth to breed German Shepherds, and he just used the best quality stock. Yeah. <laughs> XO Frey XO. There should be this is more of a statement, and I agree. There should be a hype house for dogs. Well, TikTok, are you listening? Well, probably not because we're on YouTube, but um, yeah, there should be. I agree. Okay, this is from Amanda underscore Emma 1812. Do you like when people pat you? Because I'll, gl I'll gladly fly to your country to pat you. Um, that's really sweet. Thanks, darling. So yeah, Lucy loves pats. Look, honestly, it's always nice when people come up to you and ask, just because I know a lot of people with German Shepherds aren't happy with people just you know, rushing the dog and coming up and patting them, and sometimes they do get bitten. Uh, this isn't the case with Lucy. She loves everyone, and she, you could throw her in a, in a bloody backyard full of babies and small children, and she would just lick them to death and just have the best time. Um, but in saying that, it's always nice when people do ask you. You know, it's just courtesy, I think. But yeah, we never, never say no to a pat at all. And if they don't ask, well then, so did it, whatever.
just had a. This is a cool one. Grievous09. Where do you do most of your photo shoots? We do them everywhere. So we do them in the mountains, Blue Mountains, we do them at the beaches, all the beaches. We do them in our local park, we do them in our house, we do them in down thousands of kilometres away down south when we go on road trips and things. We do them everywhere. There we go. Um, when did you start taking photos? I started taking photos, I started getting really good at photography the day I got her. And I just started on an iPhone, this is a Samsung, um, but yeah, I started on an iPhone and then I got a camera and then I got better, I started getting lenses and then next minute I'll do the odd paid photo shoot for the dogs, which is kind of cool. So, anyway, um, where are you from in Australia? That's from cactus underscore girl underscore 11. We are from Sydney. Beautiful place. We're in a suburb called Balmain. Um, it's about as much information I can give you, but yeah. It's an amazing place. It's about five minutes from the CBD. It is 20 minutes to the beach. Pretty much the best place to live in Sydney. Under Armour Fan 55, did TikTok send you doggy chocolates or something? No, we haven't received any TikTok presents or anything. Um, we did receive a blue tick verification tick, which was very, very kind and generous. So look, I don't want to push me luck, but if they want to send doggy chocolates, I'd happily, uh, Lucy would happily eat them. Alright guys, so that concludes the Q&A video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Lucy is eternally grateful. Um, if you would like to, could you please hit the subscribe button? That would mean the world to us. Can you hit the thumbs up and share this video on another social media platform? Even TikTok, that would be so awesome. Let us know in the comments if you would like to get uh, see more of these Q&A videos. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. That would be amazing. And until the next video guys, we'll see you then.